Hey everyone, um, long time no see. It has been quite some time since I've uploaded a video and I do apologize for that. I have um, a few updates that I need to give you all, but I'm going to save that for future videos. Um, today I am finally doing a Halloween enclosure. I didn't end up doing one last year, which was really sad, but I did do one a couple years ago and I uploaded a video for that. Some of the things I'm using in the enclosure right now are the same as I used a couple years ago in the Halloween enclosure video, but I am adding in a lot of new ideas, so I'm excited for that and I'm excited to show you all. So without further ado, let's start working on the enclosure. <laughs> so first I'm just going to be removing any like soiled bedding primarily the bedding over in this corner because that's usually where he spends all his time and sleeps and stuff I'm going to be completely changing out all of this sand I have already baked and sifted the sand so I'm just going to put it right in there Okay, so for bedding, I'm going to be using this brand that I've never tried before, but I saw it at PetSmart recently, and it's called Full Cheeks Paper Bedding. It is apparently natural and ultra absorbent, so we'll see how it is. Hopefully it's not too dusty. So I completely forgot to give an update on this bedding, but I ended up really liking this because I didn't notice any dust at all, so I think I may have just found my new favorite bedding. All right, so I was going to switch him to this 12 inch wheel, but unfortunately he's too small to um, move it. He kept getting in it and trying to run, but it wouldn't move. So I am switching him back to his original, um, I think it's an eight inch, I believe. Okay, now it's the fun part and I finally get to start decorating. So I got a bunch of different colored napkins from Party City and I just cut them up and I'm going to sprinkle them on top of the bedding to add some extra color. I got some yellow, orange, purple, and black. Okay, so I just mixed all the orange and yellow in there. I really like it because it kind of looks like candy corn, right? So that's how the orange and yellow is looking. And before I add in the black and purple um, napkins, I'm going to add in some of the hides that I have because I'm not quite sure yet where I'm going to put the other colors. So I'm going to be adding in this really cute pumpkin hide. Um, I got it at Target a couple years ago and it was $10. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it. Um, I might place it over here. And I also have this pumpkin hide. I don't remember where I got it because I took the tag off, but I think I might have also gotten this one from Target. So I just added a little section of black right here. There he is, the star of the show. Um, I think for sure I'm going to put some of this inside this hide. I'm also going to put more black bedding inside this hide as well. Um, I think I'm just going to sprinkle this lightly on top of the orange and yellow. There he goes. I also have this really cute spider web um, bowl that I'm just going to sit in here. Um, I don't 100% remember where this came from. It either came from the Dollar General or Target. I believe it came from the Dollar General. I also have this black and orange cauldron that I am going to probably put right here up against the glass. And I'm going to fill this one up with some purple napkins. I 
I also have this really cute corn hide. I got it from Goodwill a couple years ago, but it is originally from Yankee Candle. Um, I think I'm just going to put it up against here. <laughs> he seems to like it. So recently when I was at Target, I found these three cute little buckets in the dollar section. So we have this ghost pumpkin and this that just says boo. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put these because I'm kind of running out of room at this point. But I think one of these can go in the sand bath. All right, so I ended up putting the black one that says boo right here in the corner of the sand bath. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I ended up putting this cute little ghost bucket right here in the front and I'm also going to be filling that up with some purple napkins and I put this bucket up here at the top. I think I'm just going to sprinkle some food in here or some treats so he can eat in that corner if he wants to. Okay so I'm really excited about this part. I did this same thing a couple years ago in my last Halloween enclosure video but um so I made these cute little ghosts out of toilet paper and I'm just propping them up with these willow sticks, just like that. And I'm just going to put them throughout the enclosure. Okay, so I just got done putting all the ghosts around. And I also just added three little carrot chews in the sand bath just to add some more orange color. All right, so I also just added a few oat sprays throughout the enclosure, as well as one millet spray right there. I added in some of these tasty greens that I got from Hamster Mail, some of these rustic root gnaws, also from Hamster Mail. All right, so this is what our final enclosure is looking like. Okay, and on top, I just added these cute little tiny skeleton heads, this rat skeleton, but the tail came off, this um, big skeleton head, this potions, brews, and elixirs book, and more of these little skeleton heads. If y'all are thinking about doing a holiday theme of any kind, whether that be Halloween, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Easter, um... I don't know what other holidays are there. Fourth of July. I don't know. I really encourage you to also add shredded up napkins to it because I think that's what like really pulls the theme together and adds a lot of the colors that you want. All right, so I am finally done. I'm really happy with how it turned out this year. There's the little angel right there. Um, So let me know what you all think of this enclosure and feel free to give me any suggestions for future enclosure themes or any ideas in general. All right, so thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye.